So there's this man, he has a time machine. Up and down history he goes, zip, 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 getting into scrapes. They are saying I'm a charlatan. What concrete evidence would satisfy you, hmm? I just open the doors, Dr. Foreman. Eh? Dr. Who? What are you talking about? Another thing he has is a passion for the works of Ludwig van Beethoven. Shakespeare be able to put Hamlet on television. You got what? The play Hamlet on television. Oh, yes, quite so. Yes, of course, I do know the medium. <laughs> Were you going to kill? And one day he thinks, what's the point of having a time machine if you don't get to meet your heroes? So, off he goes to 18th century Germany. <laughs> Incidentally, hey! Happy Christmas to all of you at home. But he can't find Beethoven anywhere. No one's heard of him. Not even his family have any idea who the time traveler is talking about. Dr. Caligari. Mm. Dr. Who? <laughs> yes, you're quite right. A gentleman at last. Dr. Van Veer, at your service. Dr. Who? That's what I said. One of those... Beethoven literally doesn't exist. I think this is not Hyde Park. Could be a nexial discontinuity. Must remember to overhaul those traces. But are not my hanky. I wonder what that was for. This didn't happen, by the way. I've met Beethoven. Nice chap. Very intense. Loved an arm wrestle. No, this is called the bootstrap paradox. Google it. Little look around, Doctor. Why not? 0.79 micropars with ochre interference patterns reaching a peak power level of 5347.2 on the Van Tala psycho scale. 5437.2? That's what I thought. The time traveler panics. He can't bear the thought of a world without the music of Beethoven. Even the sonic screwdriver won't get me out of this one. Time's running out. Luckily, he brought all of his Beethoven sheet music for Ludwig to sign. So he copies out all the concertos and the symphonies, and he gets them published. I am the doctor, whether you like it or not. Maybe it was things on telly, you know? Right. Scary stuff, getting under his skin, frightening him. Uh-huh. So we stop letting him watch. Oh, you don't want to do that. He becomes Beethoven. And history continues with barely a feather ruffled. An adventure in the new science fiction series, Doctor. Can't wait to hear what I say. I'm nothing without an audience. I will always remember when the Doctor was me. My question is this. Who put those notes and phrases together? Who really composed? Beethoven's fifth. I crossed the void beyond the mind. The empty space and circles time. I see where others stumble blind. To seek a truth they never find.